Hey, Brian Gary, American Builder. And Paul Ricaldi with Paul's Toolbox. So I've got a brand new product to redo bathtubs. I was so excited, I jumped on a plane, brought the product with me, and we're gonna redo a 50 or 80 year old bathtub. Yeah, this was, this was redone back in the 40s. The old to the new. Let's get it. So we're gonna peel all this off, clean it, we'll redo the tub, and then we'll come back over and see how we're gonna address the rest of the bathroom if they want us to do it. Step one, in an old tub preparation, all this has to come off and I am painfully removing duct tape. So I gave up on the duct tape. Paul took his turn cleaning. Tub is in perfectly deplorable condition, just what we were looking for. So before and after it comes out, well, there's duct tape back here and you have to get this edge as clean as the actual tub is. So, see you in about an hour, Paul. Okay, so Paul and I realize, let's just zoom in on Paul, there's a lip right here. This, so this has been, Man. yep, this has been painted by something. One of those other coatings. Throughout the years, so we're gonna get a palm sander. We're gonna sand the edge up here. We're gonna also sand the whole bottom to get rid of whatever that paint is. Here's Paul pretending to do what I just finished, but go ahead, Paul. <laughs> go ahead. Normally, you don't have to sand this. This has, I don't know, multiple coatings on it. Because uh, this is this tub was put in here in the late 40s, early 50s, and uh, it's, it's been coated over. So we're gonna sand it down, get it a little bit smooth, or knock the top coatings off. It's rough here, but this will cover. As long as you get it clean, and the parts that aren't gonna peel up, they don't peel up. So you got the edge pretty clean all the way around? Yeah, yeah. It, it definitely has been painted. You, I got can, a, see, you can see that yeah. seam behind yeah. you. So a little bit of, little bit of extra sand. And I sanded top. this because I don't want crap falling on top of the tub and right. getting in our mixture. Right. I'm just, I took the cover off. We sanded all around here, just cleaned it. All you have to do is clean it if you have a decent tub. Right. This one needed some work. So we're taping this off. Putting it back on there, that way we don't have to worry. Make sure your slot for breathing is downward so it doesn't fill up. We're gonna tape this one off as well. We'll get it really tight. And I'm just uh, putting it around the whole thing and we'll sandwich it on and we'll pop this off after and, and peel the tape off. We have cleaned, we have taped, we, uh, we're ready, right? We're ready to roll. Paul's gonna open it a little bit more intelligent than I did with my pliers. So go ahead, Paul, open it up. Yeah, well, slots, it looks thin right there. That's where you're supposed to cut it on each one and you can just pull it right off. It's made for that. Okay, so the important part that we talk about all the time, take the full small can, put it into a large can. If you have anything left in that, this mix is not going to work. And now I can just get to watch Paul mix for 10 full minutes. Play some music. Scrape the sides real well. This is important. We have 10 minutes of hand mixing this. All right, Blake, you're at 10 minutes. At 10 minutes, just mix it up. We're good to go. Now we're going to let it sit for a couple minutes. Paul's yeah. doing every we're last clean. minute possible we're we're preparation. Ready. And we're ready to pour. So. All the prep comes down to just minutes of pouring. So we're, we're about to go to lunch, boys. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour the front call because it's running down just like we wanted to. So right now, I'm just gonna stop for a minute. I'm gonna let it do its thing. It's running in the tub. It's running across the front. Now I'm going to, I have to, I'm pushing this across the top. I know I'm going to block a lot of camera, but I'm pushing this so it comes down on the top. Otherwise you're going to have a ton of products sitting up there. 
And you'll see this all start to roll down just like it was doing naturally, but now I'm actually forcing it down right across here. And now it's really starting to slow down. And like I said, when I get to this, you'll see big puddles right here. Don't roll, pull or push. Once it starts to roll down, you don't want to do this to it. Gotcha. You're taking the product and pushing mounds of it up like that and let it run down. But you, you've got time, it's thick as can be. You can keep playing with it. You don't need to rush this part of it. Okay? I'm going to do the same thing on this coming across. I'm going to push it down. Now we're just sort of watching paint dry for a minute. And as soon as it goes up anything thick like that, I'm just gonna push it back up the walls. And now, believe it or not, I'm going around and taking as much extra product out as I can. It looks like I'm taking out too much, but I'm not. And with that, I'm going to pour this product across the front again. Because now I have so much. You have plenty in this kit to do a tub. Let me show you what I did after taking all that out of the bottom. Go ahead and push this right back over both sides up. Just, I'm just making it even because I took so much out with that cardboard. It looks like you can see the bottom. But remember, it's going to move for the next couple of hours. We're going to do this again, actually. There's that much product in here still. Now, I'll push this across the front. Okay, so we just came back. We're letting the Ecapel dry. And I saw these bumps. I'm like, shit. Meow. <laughs> Meow. The, the cat. The, powder trail. the owner of the house has a cat. And the cat. Oh, boy. Yep. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh, hey, I can find the cat. No problem. It's probably licking its paws and going to die. Oh. Hey, the house was built in the 1800s and never had a problem. <laughs> so we redid the bathtub. How far do they go? It goes all the way to here. Kitty, 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 kitty. He's out here somewhere. He's oh. in the corner after he his paws. Oh. <laughs> Let's get back to the tub and see if we can fix <laughs> well, that. Well, that's going to have to just stay. Oh, shit. That is too funny. Hey, that's footprint. That, that's that's the salad. Right up here, it showed from where we were going. And they go all the way around to the bedroom. You saw painfully in the beginning, it takes so much prep and cleaning that you saw Paul and Blake doing. So slow down, you gotta clean the tub first. Clean, clean, clean. Tip number two. Do not roll this on there like you would paint. You're gonna push it up from the bottom up, push it up and let the gravity take it back down. Tip number three would be, when you pour it around the tub, always start on the back of the tub so that you don't lean over this front part that you can see and get it all over you. So the product starts down the side, across the back, across the other side, then you work on the front. Okay, so we came, we did, we're gone. What do you think? Overall, you're the professional, what do you got? I'm real happy, that, that tub was nasty before we started. Surprisingly easier than I thought it was. It had would a, be. It had a film of somebody else did paint sometime during the last 40 years, yes, right? Yes, it's been coated. I didn't really see that until we got up close and personal. So we got a sander, we did the right thing, we sanded down everything first, which really helped us in the close. So, yes. They went from old to new, it was less than 24 hours, and um, on to the next one, buddy. No smell, no mess, 
Easy to clean up. I love this. Safe, stuff. no VOCs. You can be yeah. home during this. This is the only product on the market that works just like this. You'll see a lot more of Paul and I soon.